When you get your piece of clay, it's um, you're going to flatten it a little bit till it gets to a form like that. You can do this a little bit on your table, but don't go like this and pound it because if you try to take it off after pounding it, it's going to glue to the table. Now my design here is a kind of strong rectangle and this is not. Um, the edges on this are very, very rough, which could make it look like it broke off of a steli or something like that. I think, though, that I'm going to straighten it just a little bit. But I'm also going to make it look as if it broke off of a bigger piece. So even though my design isn't going to fit it exactly, I think that's going to be okay. These pieces that you cut off, you don't want those to stay out and dry out. Okay, we... Um, we have to, it's not going to be as easy for us in this space to condition our clay, so we need to kind of do what we can to preserve our clay. These little marks there that stick up, they don't seem like any big deal now, but when it dries, they'll break off in a way that's not going to be attractive, and after I fire it, it'll be sharp and it will cut you, and that's not good either because I don't want you guys to be cut. You And even more important, you won't like it. You won't like how that looks. So here in my hands, I'm just smoothing it a little bit. We don't take these and just dump them in the bucket because that's not going to smooth it. It's just going to make it wetter. And once we get it really wet, it's going to be really hard to condition it. Okay, there's my design. It's not a perfect fit because um, mine is old. And then what I'm going to do to transfer it is just I'm going to trace those lines. And you can see one of those lines there. More laters.